Hello everyone, I hope you are all well and healthy. Still with me Party Rosiad, on Pero Cement Techno Channel. On this occasion I will explain about the great cooler system, in the clinker production process at the cement factory. Great cooler consists of three categories, including, 1, conventional great cooler, 2, CFG cooler or control air flow great cooler, 3, crossbar cooler. Conventional grate cooler is a clinker cooler consisting of a row of static grate plates and a row of movable grate plates. Then the air from the cooling fan as a cooling medium, which is flowed through the space under the grate plate, cooling air directly to the surface of the grate plate through the holes of the grate plate, and the cooling air also functions as an air sealing chamber. This is an example of a video grate cooler at the start of kiln operation. The clinker material that falls from the rotary kiln to the grate cooler, can still be clearly seen, because there is still little and not much cooling air used. To discuss further about the great cooler, follow the explanation in this video to the end. Working principle of great coolers. Cooling air is flowed through the chamber under the great plate, directly to the surface to the cooling chamber through the holes in the great plate. The clinker material that comes out of the rotary kiln falls on the great plate and moves out of the great cooler due to the thrust of the great plate which moves forward and backward continuously. The basic concept of this type of great cooler is quite simple. The hot clinker from the kiln enters the cooling chamber and travels across a series of great plates. This great plate has small holes that allow cooling air to flow through. As the clinker passes through the great plate series, and cooling air is forced through the great plate holes, and through the hot clinker layer it produces the desired cooling effect. Cooling air to the compartment under the great plate series, the pressure will increase when the material thickness is higher and vice versa. The movement of the great plate allows the particles to rotate to expose each clinker surface to contact with the air stream. This is an example of a clinker cooling room in a great cooler. In this picture, you can see a large room with rows of great plates lined up neatly, as a clinker cooler and as transport equipment. Each grate plate has small holes with a hole size of 6 mm on the surface, and a hole size of 8 mm on the bottom. Cooling fan whose function is to supply cooling air to the cooling chamber. The amount of clinker cooling air flow requirement in the cooling room, is regulated using the cooling fan motor speed, or using a cooling fan damper. And this is a sample image of the grate cooler, air compartment, and damper flap. We can see in the picture, 
there is a cooling room and grate plates are installed, then there is a roller driving the grate, there is a cooling air fan installed beside the cooling room, there is a cooling room under the grate plate, then there is a hopper whose function is to collect clinker dust. And there is a damper flap to remove clinker dust by opening the damper flap, and drag chain to transport the clinker dust material to the next transport means to the clinker silo. Hopper and Flap Damper The flap damper is installed at the bottom of the hopper of the cooling air chamber, whose function is so that the cooling air does not come out with the clinker dust to the transport equipment below it. Hopper cooler is equipped with a level sensor, whose function is to control the level of clinker dust in the hopper. When the material reaches the maximum level, the damper flap will open. And the material touches the minimum level, then the flap damper will close. Then, grate cooler drives. To move the frame grate plate, use two ways, including, electric motor grate drive, and hydraulic grate drive. This is an example of an electric motor grate drive with an eccentric shaft. And this is a video example of driving the grate using hydraulics. The stroke speed is between 0 to 24 strokes per minute, and the stroke length is generally 110 to 140 millimeters. Next, what is the difference between a conventional grate cooler and a CFG cooler? What is crossbar cooler? And what kind of clinker crusher is used in cooler system? For a discussion about CFG cooler, crossbar cooler, and clinker breaker, please follow the next video. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, Comment and share this video to your friends who need it. And see you in the next video.